Hi, Leo. Welcome in, and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for you. You can find the timestamps in the comments section as well as the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead at any time. We will be doing whatever comes out, important messages for you, along with singles and new love, past person, current issues, and I will end the reading with cross watchers. I'm going to start the message off with the past person. So if you are not inquiring about a past person, you can find the timestamps down below. Let's see, the past person for Leo, please. Past person for Leo. It's okay, Knight of Swords. So if somebody ghosted or withdrew, ran away from the connection, Virgo energy. Why did they do this? Will of Fortune in reverse. Okay, that's Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio energy. They didn't, I'm getting like somebody got in too deep, deeper than they had originally wanted. That Will of Fortune in reverse talks about something being stuck. So I, I, I'm just getting like someone was stopped in their tracks. What is this? Ooh. So someone that never had intentions of having a super strong bond with you developed one. And so they ran away before it got in too deep. This person has a tendency to run away from their emotions and run away from connections in general. Don't take it personally. This is just a character trait of theirs. However, some of you guys, they are caught up. Some of you, they're held up or caught up in another connection elsewhere. And so that's why they ghosted or that's why it's almost like the past came back to this person. And what I mean by that, it's like this person was facing difficulties with uh, uh, someone in their past. And then that past came back to heal the connection or somebody that they were already in a commitment with, you know, this person was facing a lot of issues with that person. And so they were stepping outside of the connection is what it's telling me. And, and then they started to feel stuck on you. Four of Swords. So you see them as held back, okay? Um, you feel like somebody's walking away. You're really disappointed. I feel like there's an energy here of you being overwhelmed too by your own emotions. How does this person see Leo? The Ace of Pentacles, they see you as something new here manifesting. The Death card. They want to resurrect the situation, guys. They want to come back. This is someone that wants to come back from the dead. Scorpio energy. Someone can have a Scorpio placement. How do they feel about Leo? They're afraid to reach out, guys with that death card, the ace of pentacles, there's a fear. They want to reach out, but they're too afraid to. They feel the seven of wands. They feel defensive. Someone feels like you may attack them, okay? Or I'm getting like... There's an energy here of someone assuming you've already pushed them away. Nine of cups. They feel like... Some of you guys, they feel like it would be a waste of time because they wouldn't be able to get what they wanted. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Swords, the Four of Wands. There's definitely a mess this person has created. What do they want from Leo? Eight of Pentacles. They want to come back and work things out. They want to be consistent this time. Tell me this person wants to show back up and show you more consistency. So this is someone that was inconsistent in the past. Why the five of wands? They know you're getting attention. 
Leo, I'm also getting in general, you're going to be receiving attention from people, okay? Um, but this person, the five of wands, the six of wands, somebody is a little jealous that you may be receiving attention from someone else. That's why they want to come back. They have feelings of jealousy, but there's also a fear. And I I'm just getting like, they fear reaching out because they feel like it would be a waste of time because maybe you're already moved on. Well, fortune in reverse again. This person's stuck on you, Leo. I'm getting like, yeah, three of wands throughout the whole month of October. Somebody here is stuck on you. And I feel like they're reflecting over their actions. Bottom of the deck, three of cups, somebody wanting to get back together or, you know, this is somebody wanting to reconcile. I'm also getting something to, oh, three of pentacles. 33 could be significant. I have 333 three, three here. I also have 35, 39, 38, 34, 36. These are just numbers that are standing out. This is definitely somebody who wants to reconcile and rebuild here, make amends with you. But the nine of wands tells me that this person here, they're, they're scared to communicate. What's their hidden truth? What is their hidden truth? Their hidden truth is they don't want to let you go. They haven't let you go. And they want you back. All right. New signs you could be dealing with. We have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo. on to the singles. Hold on one moment, Leo. Okay. I wanted to take a couple of sips of my coffee. You can always click to the timestamps at any time, guys. Okay. So... Let's see, my single Leos, what's happening here? We're going to do singles and new love, so my single Leos, let's see, Ooh, right off the bat, courting man, male or female, you got someone in that's going to actually be putting in work, you're not going to have to just chase this person, okay, this is someone who's going to be showing high signs of interest, you're not going to question, this person has uh, their career life figured out, there's no doubt in that, I feel like they do have something to offer a connection when it comes to like financially, material, um, <laughs> they have their own house or their own place, this person's well established, Leo, that's coming towards you. They're mature. They're single. <laughs> most, <laughs> the most important part, right? Um, guys, so I feel like this is going to be a connection where it's going to start off very casual. It's going to start off very light. Like, I feel like, you know, the more freedom you give this person, especially in the beginning, uh, there's going to be a lot of trust that's developed. And this is the kind of connection to where it's like you both are so sure of yourselves. You allow each other your personal freedoms. There's definitely no mistrust here because I feel like it starts off. It, it, it's, it's like a slow builder. It's something that, you know, you two have feelings for each other. But it's not a trauma bond. It's not something to where it's like, I don't want to say it's not an instant connection, but it's not an instant ownership. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like you're going to feel very confident and sure of yourself. And this person is going to be earning your trust, Leo. And so it's like you both allow personal freedoms here. I also feel like, you know, this person lives alone. And so it's like, for some reason, that's very important to you guys. It's saying they, they live alone. So, I mean, you can come and go as you please. I definitely see you um, ending up with someone here that is well-established. Let's 
single Leos, please. Single Leos. Look at that, the Empress. Okay. Currently, I don't think you guys are seeing anything. Okay. Some of you single Leos might be uh, pessimistic when it comes to romance with the Empress. Um, it looks like you're disappointed by romance and in the present moment. But look, you're going to be getting out of this energy, guys, with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, maybe ha you have some anxieties from the past. Some of you guys are still trying to let go of an old energy. Or this is just you having anxiety, wondering if you're going to meet someone like this. And this is saying yes. What's the advice for Leo? Death card. Uh, walking away from something. Letting go of a, of a fear. Some of you Leos uh, needing to um, let go of something from the past, okay? And that's when this energy comes in. Others of you, if you don't resonate with that, there's a fear of yours. Fearing what you want. Fearing what you deserve. Very interesting. Some of you may have fears of commitments because you lack trust in other people. Like I said, this person is going to be slowly uh, building your trust like this is someone definitely that is going to be actively pursuing you and wanting to prove themselves to you so i do see you manifesting this commitment but there's also some underlying uh, underlining fears there and and when we don't deal with these fears guys we can we can sabotage good things so could be meeting a taurus a scorpio um a libra for some of you I see a lot of communication for you singles. Okay, there is someone coming in that is going to pursue you. Now, those of you that are currently dealing with new love. Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Ten. Something's already going south here with a new person. That's how you would know if it's your reading. Something either has already ended between you and a new person due to shadiness Okay, uh, Four of Pentacles, uh, what is this trying to say? Eight of Wands. Some of you are already in the process of releasing somebody new here, okay? But that Four of Pentacles can indicate somebody, you or them, being very controlling or possessive over the other because there was mistrust right off the bat. Nine of Cups. I see some, those of you that are already connecting with a new person, I feel like there was already some signs of secrecy. Um, somebody being very smug or, you know, almost like a their way or no way, somebody not bending or somebody not, someone's neglecting to give to the connection or, you know, really listening to the way you feel about something here. And I feel like there's a lot of confusion between you and this person and something may have ended between you and this person or it will do to all of this, but then they come back because they really want to connect with you, but this person has signs of non, like they want your attention, but this new person that you're already experiencing trouble with, they're non-committal right now. I feel like that's what the misunderstanding truly is. This person wants to be with someone, but at the same time, they're non-committal. They have player ways and you're seeing signs of that. And somebody might be denying it, but I feel like you should listen to your intuition. We have the moons, uh, we ha so we have Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is scared of a serious commitment, guys, but it's, they want it. They're scared of the very thing they want from you. Open relationship, no commitment. So that's what I was getting, guys. So I feel like this person neglects being open about the way they truly feel. And this might be something that kind of took off too quickly. And it's like you guys developed a very instant connection. It took off too quickly. And then someone came in and sabotaged it or they will because they're not quite ready to commit. Others of you, this person uh, is looking for Now you would know this. Uh, I feel like they're looking for something casual. It's, it's so interesting to me because they want a serious partnership, but at the same time, they might, it's, it's like they want to keep their options open, Leo. So be, uh, yeah, look at that triangle at the bottom of the deck. This could involve a love triangle already. Your advice, fun times, get out and have fun. 
Spirit's advising you guys that are dealing with this situation to go out without this person, go have fun, explore other options. All right, let's take a look at whatever comes out. What are the important messages here for Leo? Okay. So I'm seeing someone wanting to bring bad energy your way. Bottom of the deck, we have thoughts. There's somebody here who is in despair. I feel like this person has mental health issues. Now, I'm not a doctor, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like mental health issues. This person is in despair. Uh, they're wanting to bring bad energy your way to steal your happiness. Now, how they're going to do this, I'll clarify. But for some of you guys, they might just do it by give, giving catty comments. Be aware of people that are trying to steal your joy. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Tell me about this person. Five of Wands. Petty. Jealous. Okay. Uh, just a petty, jealous individual, Leo, that is wanting to bring you down. So um, just energies to watch out for. Bottom of the deck. Look at this. Golly. You guys got a hater. You have an obsessed hater. They can't stop thinking about you. I'm also getting like, they're wanting to paint, they're wanting to paint a bad picture of you to other people. They're thinking of ways to make you look bad because they're upset. They're an obsessed hater. That's really what I'm getting. Um, and it all boils down to this person having mental health issues. And I feel like anyone who gives you bad vibes, anyone who's putting off bad juju, uh, you don't even have to logically explain it. I feel like you should, should separate yourself from these people. Or this person. Now, side message, um, you know, watch your health. I don't see anything super terrible, but I feel like this is just a reminder to make sure you are uh, contributing to your health. Okay, make sure you are. Now, this could be your mental health as well. Um, some of you guys may be feeling down, okay, or when you feel down, allow yourself to feel down. Allow yourself to experience emotions. You might benefit from therapy as well is what I'm getting. To help untangle these um, jumbled thoughts you may have yourself. But I'm getting when it comes to your physical health, make sure you are watching your physical health. If you have anything that you're concerned about, uh, I would get that looked at. But it's not, I don't see anything super bad. I just feel like it would help give you peace of mind at the end of the day. And I am getting a message of like, make sure you're washing your hands. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing, make sure you're washing your hands. Okay. Like wash your hands before you eat, when you're at work, things like that. That's something you should, that's a practice you should always be doing. Okay. Let's see what else for Leo. Okay, you have tulip and then you have club. Someone is bothered because you're happy, you're passionate about something. Kind of like, watch out. Somebody may try to make you do something against your will. Because, you know, tulips could be significant to you at this time, but I'm just getting someone sees how passionate you are and they might try to take advantage of your, your that energy. So just no is a complete sentence. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Make sure you're doing things to satisfy you at the end of the day. I feel like a lot of a lot of you Leos, you guys have such big hearts, okay? And I feel like you do want to make other people happy, but just make sure at the end of the day, it's actually truly adding value to your life, making you happy. Okay. What is this trying to say? You have in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Who is this? If you were to increase your efforts, you're going to see your goals rapidly. 
those of you, the, the universe is wanting to pull you up even more, or the universe is wanting to um, pull you up further or, or help you with something here, but you're needing to increase your efforts if you're wanting to achieve your goals. Oh, four leaf clover, my favorites. I love four leaf clovers. Always, they always remind me of my cat Irish, okay? That um, has passed over now, but you have a great fortune coming your way, and I feel like you have a guide here wanting to help you. But your guides say you need to help yourself, um, and I feel like what that is really saying it's like you want you you have control over your you have control over your success. That's the great thing. It's like the, the effort you give, you'll get. It's a really lucky time for you. Recognition and reward for merit. I see you guys getting recognized for helping someone. You could be getting a thank you basket or a thank you gift for helping somebody out. But I, ultimately, I see you getting rewarded for your efforts. You being seen and recognized. Any issues you're facing, they're temporary. Any issues that you face now or you're going to face, you know, Spirit is saying that the clouds will clear up eventually. These are just temporary problems. Mature woman. I see you. Uh, you're really looked up to, Leo. Male or female, this card, you, you were really looked up to. I'm getting like a social light or just somebody that like you're very loved. You're adored. You are adored at your career. You have, you bring something of high value to the table, higher value, okay? And I see uh, when it comes to your career, there's some type of success you will be experiencing in your career as long as you are um, putting in the effort. But I'm seeing advancement in business and career. Anything else? Some of you guys may be divorced or you may be getting a divorce. If this is you, I see you, you needing to focus on your career right now. You could be a mother, of course. Some of you guys could be a mother or your divorcee. And if that is you, uh, I feel like I feel like you're really needing to focus on your you're being looked at by your children or you're being looked up to here. Or some of you guys are wanting to provide a home. Those of you that are getting a divorce, I see you getting the house if you were to increase your efforts to keep this house if you if that's something you want. Now, I am also getting you can be being able to own your own home here own your own residence property and provide a beautiful place for your kids. Those of you that have children, but I'm also getting now, if that's not resonating, use discernment with who you allow in your home. Okay. Use discernment with who the people you are allowing in your home. Okay. The energies that they bring and also the people you allow into your business. And what I mean by that, like business partners, be very mindful of the people that you associate yourself with. Let's get you a angel number here. I didn't want to end your reading. This was very, <laughs> I love, I love Leo's energy. You have 1111. You're awake. You are, it says, I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed in helping you wake up to who you truly are. That's absolutely beautiful. You'd be seeing 1111 a lot. Okay, that is an awakening number. Uh, no matter what, uh, no matter the um, stage you're in, we, we are constantly going through stages of awakening. There's constant spiritual awakenings. Just when you think you know, you find out you don't. <laughs> okay, so I feel like you could be experiencing your first awakening, or some of you guys, you're experiencing your third, fourth, or fifth spiritual awakening here, okay? But there's definitely some type of awareness that's increasing. We're going to... Your psychic abilities, Leo. I'm getting your psychic abilities, your intuition. But I'm also getting with that 1111, like your guides are trying to get your attention on something. So make sure you're paying attention. I feel like only you personally will know what they're trying to say. You have to listen to your intuition. Aries through Pisces for Leo. 
Aries through Pisces for Leo, please. are dealing with an Aries this Aries is at a distance they're spying on you the Aries watches you from a distance if you're dealing with a Taurus this Taurus has hidden feelings for you I feel like the Taurus is hiding something in general from you okay but they're definitely hiding their feelings they could be hiding a connection too you're dealing with a Gemini. This Gemini would like to reach out. They want to manifest a new beginning with you. This Gemini could be argumentative, okay? Or this you could feel like this Gemini brings drama to your life, but this this Gemini that you may be in drama with wants to speak with you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer is trying to heal, okay? They, they've, they've taken a step back to reassess their feelings. They feel overwhelmed right now. If you're dealing with another Leo, this Leo is walking away. Because the Leo doesn't want, if you're dealing with another Leo, this Leo doesn't want to walk away, but they're walking away because they're already uh, tied to something else right now. They're very, they're disappointed. The Leo is disappointed as they walk away. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo has their guard up, but they're, you may have set a boundary with a Virgo. And so now it's like they're, they're defensive. They have a guard up. They kind of feel like. They're fixated on the fact that you may have st stood up for yourself. I'm getting like the Virgo being kind of, uh, they have negative feelings towards you because you stood up for yourself or because you set a boundary here. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra is passionate about you. There's a strong attraction they have for you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio is awaiting communication. They're obsessed. Yeah, they want to reunite. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius is upset. They're holding on to hope, though. Yeah, Knight of Cups. The Sagittarius wants to apologize, and they're holding on to hope that you two will reconnect. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn wants to communicate. They want to come forward. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Aquarius wants to make amends. You may have shown, you may have called out an Aquarius. Or, you know, is to put up a boundary, but they definitely see your power. The Aquarius sees you standing in your power and that you've, you have stood up for yourself or that you are standing up for yourself and they want to make amends. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces wants to work things out. They want to get to know you. Two of Wands. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they want to be with you, whether this is re reconciling or, you know, just getting to know you in general. They're wanting to have a unity with you. That Pisces recognizes something special. There's a special connection between you two. All right, Leo, those are your messages. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. And until next time.